Detroit is historic. The Satan statue has never before been seen publicly. The Satanic Temple says the statue is a symbol for what they advocate, the separation of church and state. It's like you can't have one without the other, you know? Like I'm equal parts God and the devil. A cloak of shame covers this man, and only supreme light will wash my body clean. But how could that light possibly reach me with the thick clouds of indecency that surround my poor soul? Notice me, senpai! Notice me! Tossed skyward like ragdolls thrown into the air by the late great Andre the Giant. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. They appeared to be weightless, hitting zero G like the fearless crew of a forgotten Apollo mission, whose only objective was to obtain a beef and cheddar classic and return home to Kathleen Quinlan safe before sundown. I don't know. Part of me wishes I'd be hit by that car instead, so I could have gotten out of work early and gone far, far away from shift manager Masha's judging emerald eyes. I don't know. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. Roast beef, this whole place smells like roast beef! I do hope his eyes gaze upon me and that my allegiance is recognized. And two eternal juggernauts would do battle right here in the middle of the city. What stands at the center? To that I say, my soul. I find nothing except for sweaty, devastated loneliness and a thousand judging eyes staring back at me from the cover of a stolen Victoria's Secret catalog. I didn't take your mail, Mrs. Pemberton. Stop asking me that. Leave me alone! Oh, no. Satan's pretty cool. cool.